All right, guys, it's Thursday night. I'm trying to wrap some stuff up here. Um, I've had a lot going on with work, uh, but no excuses. I need to get more uh, of these vlogs up and running. Um, I want to go through a couple of things, a couple of exciting things for me. Um, some presents I ordered. Please don't tell my wife. She will kill me if she knew how many different things I've ordered in the last week. Um, we are um, wrapping up a few projects here, uh, getting ready, f you know, f as everybody is for, for the uh, first day build, which for me is October 1st. I don't know what it is for you guys. Uh, I think October 1st this year is a Saturday, so I'm really psyched about that because I can spend the entire day. Again, wife not too excited, but um, I'll be able to get a lot done. Got a really cool present. Uh, a belated present from my brother the other day. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not. He bought me a peekaboo. Um, if any of you guys have used one of these, it's really cool. It's a lot easier than I thought. Um, I ordered a nerve center about a month and a half ago. I haven't used that yet. Um, this one is extremely easy to use. I was really surprised. Um, it actually, he had uh, also purchased the, it's like a bar and it has air whips on it. Um, so it's a timed uh, on a motion uh, PIR. Um, basically as you come in, it, it sets that off and it also records sound. Um, so I was really excited to get that. It was a pleasant surprise. I ordered all of my um, pneumatics, cylinders, all that stuff. Uh, for my cellar door. Um, I'm going to show you the cellar door here in a little bit. It's done for the most part. I got some aging and some other things I got to do to it, but for the most part it's done. Um, I actually got a hold of Brent Jones, uh, who's the owner of DC Props. If any of you guys have read his books, they're awesome. They're very technical. Uh, but they're they're really good books for good ideas. Um, that's actually where I got my column idea from and now my uh, cellar dweller or cellar haunted cellar I guess is what I'm calling it um, he actually wrote me back exactly what I would need um, every single part put it together as a package so I ended up just buying it from them I will warn you it is very expensive um, the final package I think was around two hundred and thirty dollars for all the parts. I probably could get them a lot cheaper. In fact, I know I could have had I gone out and bought everything individually, but this was my first time at it. So I really just wanted to get it all done and, and move on. Um, the other really cool thing, which I sh probably shouldn't have ordered, but it, it was a spur of the moment thing. Um, I was on Shot in the Dark last night. Uh, if any of you guys know what it is, Bloodshed Brothers talks about it. I think Steve's Haunted Yard has one, um, but it's a boombox. Um, and they were sold out for the season. Uh, for some reason on their website, it said they still had a few left. So I called them today, uh, did have a few things left. I ordered a boombox and gonna be here in the next two weeks. So Wicked's excited about that. Uh, shout out to all these guys that are working hard getting stuff done. There's a lot of, uh, uh, vloggers out there doing a lot of cool things. Um, you know, the Bloodshed Brothers are doing a phenomenal job um, uh, with their their uh, commercial haunt. Seeing all sorts of good stuff with uh, uh, Troy at the Halloween Hellmouth. Um, Dionysia 12, she's got some really cool stuff. I don't know if you guys have checked out her hands. Those are pretty cool. Uh, Ferrari Killer. Got some really cool stuff as well. Um, and then Christy also has, I've been stealing a lot of ideas from her. Um, anyway, I'm sure there's many more. I uh, just wanted to kind of finish up. I am at about 19 followers. Can't seem to get past 19. Um, would welcome ideas for getting more subscribers. I'm not looking for 1,500. I'm not quite there yet, but, uh, you know, maybe... <laughs> 50 would be great. Uh, baby steps, right? Anyway, if you guys got any thoughts, I'd be glad to do a contest. Uh, or if there's things that other vloggers aren't doing for you that you, you want me to cover, I'd be glad to do that. 
Um, I think that's it. Um, this weekend, I'm going to try to work. I need three more uh, PVC fence posts. Um, and then I'm also working on a prop. It's going to be a um, kind of sounds disturbing, but it's going to be a little kid in like a sheet as like a trick or treater. And he's going to be standing in front of a ghost. Um, and he'll have his little uh, pail, um, pumpkin pail. Um, I just think it would look pretty cool with you know about to be taken by the ghost type type scene I think that's it for now I'm gonna um, keep working on stuff and try to get these uploaded a lot faster anyway you guys keep keep working hard and uh, uh, we'll see you soon bye okay so I'm trying to get some progress done on these doors um, I've got a few more things I want to add to them um, and then mount them on the uh, frame and then comes pneumatics. I've been fearing this day. <laughs> uh, again, if anybody has any suggestions on how I mount the uh, pneumatics underneath, I would love to get some feedback on that. Um, I don't know why it's uh, such an intimidating uh, thing, but i just uh, trying to figure out what's the best way to do it have suggestions let me know so this is what they're looking like on their frame um, actually came out pretty good I think uh, I'm gonna put some side pieces on so it looks like a covered basement um, I emailed monster guts last night just to see if they have any products or could put something together for me for this particular um, prop so I'm waiting to hear back from them. We'll see if they do something like that. The finished cellar door construction. I'm pretty much finished at this point. Finally, after uh, re-sawing everything hmm, three times, um, they finally fit together. Now remember, they're two pieces, so uh, I did that so we could store them easier. Um, so then on to the bigger and harder part, which is the pneumatics, putting that in. Uh, I think I have somebody who's helped me, actually, um, the owner of DC Props, Brent Ross, sent me an email uh, yesterday and was extremely helpful on how to put this together. He has some slamming doors in his book um, and conveniently is willing to sell me all the uh, pneumatic parts. So I can do this in one shot. Will an attractive woman cry at my funeral? Check. Probably more than one. Check, check, check.